right here at this job site. Uh, what we have to do is we have to get the, the ground level to grade. There's a lot of uh, different uh, levels. Uh, they come by, they do the concrete, they get the, the house ready, and it's uneven. What we're doing, getting it even, getting it ready, the top layer, the rock, the plants, and everything else. And then for that, we need to smooth it out and make it look presentable. We are also making some pondings that way these canalies that the water comes off of have a place to build up instead of fl flooding the yard. Yeah, because look at all those canalies, the water's gonna come down and it's not gonna have no place to go. So these pondings act as a reservoir that way so the water can build up here compared to out in the yard. Our business is growing, you know, we're getting more employees. They're taking my vehicles, so I don't have my Explorer anymore. So I've got to get a vehicle because I've been renting a vehicle for a little while now and it's starting to add up. Just depending on what we can find price wise, it's going to be a cash deal. So, yeah, see if we can get into either a van or a car. Something. The problem is, I keep every time I look around, I've already looked in Roswell, Las Cruces, and El Paso. I had my price my price set at ten thousand dollar budget but i keep finding something a little nicer and nicer and i keep pushing that budget and this weekend i was like at twenty six thousand dollars in the vehicles i was looking at so got a problem so we're back down to ten thousand if we can we can find something like that so Uh, it's a little, little over my 10,000 budget, but hey. Okay. 10,000 bucks for what was the van at 140,000 miles? 43, yeah, 30,000 miles. So looking at, uh, yeah, looking at that, well, maybe if they can go down to. It's a big difference. So twenty three nine is what there was. That's almost four grand off, but cash deal. So this area here, we're just going to be coming through. We're leveling. As you can see, it's pretty lumpy and just kind of wavy. The whole ground. So we're going to come through. Smooth it out, get it perfectly smooth, and then this whole area as well. So pretty much all this area is gonna become smooth and we're gonna build this area up here. So it's just a lot of little, a lot of little projects, get the grounds where you want it. So it's always good to have, uh, have grading issues situated where you don't have water puddling up by your house or by walls or anything that you, um, don't want it to to be puddling up by so and then we're gonna have to raise these pipes obviously they're at the old level they're about a foot and a half below the existing ground level so this is gonna come up, come up another two feet or maybe a foot and a half so we're gonna have to raise all the piping that way it's not three feet deep uh, that way it's not so deep to reach down there and turn them off if you ever have to so not a problem Elbow them right up to the new height. Uh, keep everything looking good and easy to easy to get to.
the other grass job we have going on at the moment. This one's a pretty big one. We're just putting in the artificial grass that looks kind of more natural. Different styles. We have lots of options to choose out of. It's probably one of the uh, least expensive. So if you got big areas that you want to cover, this is probably the way to go. I'll show you what it kind of looks like here. It has a little bit of a little bit of yellow in it. So greenish, yellowish, kind of give it more of a natural look. But it's still about an inch inch tall. And of course, there's a lot of the nicer plush grasses that are like two and a half inches tall, really thick for heavy traffic. They're gonna run about you know a dollar or more a square foot. So it's a good choice. Yeah, we'll get it, uh, get it all put in. Explore. So we got this Durango quickly transformed. As everybody kind of knows, I don't really like to drive stock vehicles for the most part. First thing we're going to do, tint the, tint the windows. I don't know how dark we're going to do. I'm always getting pulled over in the other SUV that I had, so maybe not that dark, but definitely tint the front windows. And then we're gonna do black wheels on this thing. Leave in the comments what y'all think, but I'm thinking black. Black would go good on this thing. Maybe leave the chrome, I don't know. Most of the other vehicles, we black the chrome out too, but found this last second, literally, at the end of the day, and just put the cash down and got it. And I do wanna say I appreciate a Viva Dodge of Las Cruces for working with us on this. They worked with me on the cash I had on hand and did it for me. You know, it was very easy, very friendly, friendly people. So definitely recommend them. Huh? Are they sponsoring this episode? Yeah, Viva, if you're watching. No, <laughs> but, no, but I give credit where it's due. Like I said, we got the Mercedes is still, um, well, we still have it, but uh, that's gonna be for another video. So we'll get into that later, but. Yeah, we're buying cars like crazy right now. So keeping it going and uh, we appreciate everybody. Please like, subscribe, and we'll catch you next video.